Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and we have something new here. We have a lot of uh, lot of sweets. We have here our 12 volt supply and then I also have the battery 12 volts. I mean uh, battery we have the 9 volt supply battery also with the battery 9 volt supply and this is the first LED switch using one buzzer one LED and one push button let us check using two transistors BJT one push button one LED and input LED buzzer resistors one capacitor other one we have the two push button two LEDs using a 555 timer That is the 555 timer. I also have the toy module, toy version of uh, two transistors. The transistor looking dead. And here, using two buttons. The toy version. I have the input LED, and then I also have the two transistor, one buzzer, one LED. Two transistors. to four transistors in TTL inverter kits and our latest uh, LED switch using an IC CD4069 two buttons one LED Six uh, LED switch. You can use uh, this uh, LED switch to control the load. Depends on the application.
Okay, let us now come to the circuit uh, analysis of this uh, new uh, latch switch using CD4069CN IC. Now also we have here the pin out. 1, 2, 14 pin. 7 is the ground. 14 supply. 1, 2 input output. 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 14. And this IC consists of uh, six inverter circuits. So we have six inverters in one package. In one IC. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six inverters. Using a CMOS technology. And you can use a voltage supply of uh, three volts up to 15 volts external resistor no need so we don't need an external resistor because the, there is a built-in resistor inside the IC this uh, IC converts low logic 0 to high logic level 1 high logic 1 to low logic 0 so this is an inverter from high to low, low to high. Okay, let us connect the voltage supply to pin number 5 and then the ground pin number 7, BDD and BSS. We now have this uh, external circuit to the IC. That is the R1 current limiter uh, resistor and the one power LED. We need this uh, circuit to know that the circuit is on. And when you connect the resistor and the LED to the voltage supply, current now flow into the circuit. to the BDD R1D1 we're going to solve all the value of uh, R1 our current limiter resistor to protect the LED from burning using a KBL sum of all voltages in a closed loop is equal to zero BDD minus the voltage of R1 voltage of D1 substitution then we get a voltage drop at R1 3 volts I'm using 2 volts that is in the, the data sheet of the LED to turn on that is uh, 2 volts is needed and using the ohms law B is equal to IR computing for the values of R1 substitution 3 volts we know that from the voltage drop we calculated and I'm using the current of 0 0.02 ampere that is in the data sheet of the LED to turn on. Since the current in the R1, D1 equal here in series, so current in series equal. Now the value of R1 is 150 ohms. So we get the first value of the resistor, 150 ohms. using 1 kilo ohms uh, I don't have 150 ohms available 1 kilo ohms still uh, okay it's just decrease the brightness of the LED so we get now the 1 kilo ohms the value of R1 to protect the LED and then And then the LED turns on. So 
So when you collect an LED to the voltage supply, it turns on. We got now the power LED. We know that the circuit is on. We connect this uh, external circuit, uh, switch 1 with the D3 and R2, D2. We have another external circuit that is uh, in the input side of the IC of the circuit. And that switch 1 is uh, the one providing the input signal or that is an on switch to the circuit it provides the logic 0 or 1 to the IC or to the inverter we have this D3 D3 is used which is a diode 1 and 4, 4 1 4 8 to eliminate oscillation from the IC or uh, to prevent uh, leakage current from the IC we also have this uh, input LED so that we know when we press the button when the LED is on it produces a uh, logic 1 and uh, off logic 0 so when you press the button here LED turns on and when you release it's off that is the one giving the input signal to the inverter. So this uh, R3 is the feedback resistor. You can uh, see it. It creates uh, oscillation. The output of the inverter 2 through pin 4 is connected to pin 1 by a feedback resistor R3 1K that is an arbitrary value I selected 1 kilo ohms that's an arbitrary value just to create an oscillation so we have now the R3 1 kilo ohms by applying a positive 5 volts or the voltage supply to the inverter it creates an oscillation the internal noise is amplified so we have an oscillation because of the R3 1 kilo ohms feedback resistor and then we have another uh, external circuit that is R4 uh, D4 and it is uh, output LED D4 the output side of the circuit R4 that is the current limiter resistor of D4 to protect the LED from burning we also have the switch 2 SW2 which is an off switch and is connected to the feedback resistor and to the ground and then into the data sheet of CN4069 we got this uh, voltage input low level or denoted by BIL low logic zero and at uh, voltage uh, supply of 5 volts so what is the input uh, low level or BIL of the inverter logic zero for this circuit from the data sheet of uh, 4069 the input uh, low level must be 1 volt so lower than 1 volt is considered as input low level with a logic state of zero so logic uh, zero means one volt the maximum into the less than one volt so if the voltage is one volt or less it means it is you know, low logic or logic zero equivalent and for this uh, circuit where uh, since the switch one is open so we are sending a low log logic zero to the input of the inverter 
which means uh, it is zero volt because the switch is open or logic uh, level of zero or logic state of zero because of that the switch one now is it seems that the switch one is disconnected to the circuit because the switch one is open sending a low logic zero or uh, input voltage of uh, one volt maximum and the uh, lesser value which is the input uh, low level BIL of this circuit now the uh, logic zero which is uh, which has a voltage uh, rating of one volts or lower than that travels into the input of the inverter one logic one because it's uh, passing to the other side it inverts the signal it becomes uh, logic one which has uh, voltage uh, output of 4.5 volts so when the input uh, low level or BIL is uh, one volt or lesser which is the input low the output is 4.5 volt from uh, 1 volt to 4.5 volts and then this uh, 4.5 volts now passing to the second inverter and it becomes zero it inverts the signal and then close back into the pin one of the first inverter so we call zero, 010 zero. let us now push the button and uh, we are now sending a logic uh, high one the current problems into the external circuit when you push the button to the input LED solving now for the value of R2 using KDL voltage drop at R2 now by uh, using KDL we have the formula voltage uh, drop at R2 now is uh, equal to 3 volts and using the ohms law R2 now is 150 ohms from the computation I'm using the same data sheet provided by the LED to turn on the LED 2 volts and uh, current in series that is current in the D2 and R2 is equal so we got now uh, 150 ohms the value of R2 to protect the LED LED now turns on Again, there is a current flows inside the IC from the 5 volts to the ground that is the quiescent current of the device by pushing the button we are sending now a current to the output through switch 1, D3, R3, R4, D4 <laughs> When you press the button here, the current also flow into the switch to the D3, sending a logic 1 to the input of the inverter D. The data sheet of the CN4069, voltage input high level should be 4 volts minimum. We need at least 4 volts minimum to make, to have this uh, input high level voltage. Checking for the input high uh, level uh, voltage of the circuit using the KBL, BDD minus voltage of D3 and then the voltage input high level. So upon checking, we have the voltage input high of 4 volts needed to 
to send the allergic one. So from uh, logic one it becomes logic zero to the output of the first inverter and it has a voltage uh, 0.5 volts. And then now the voltage input high now is equal to the voltage output which is uh, 4 volts. Now we are supplying the current to the output LED. And we are going to compute for the volume power 4 using the KBL. So we have now uh, 100 ohms for the value of R4. And I am using 220 ohms for the value of R4. And the LED turns on. So when we release the switch one, the output LED still turns on because there is uh, an oscillation into the circuit. And we have this uh, low logic level now into the input. But still the output LED turns on because there is a notch in the circuit passed by the inverter 1 uh, in inverter 2 still the LED output turns on and it has a logic 1 because of the flat circuit we created the only means to disconnect the latch is by using a switch 2 by pressing the button switch 2 current goes into the voltage supply to the inverter and into the R3 and into the switch to the ground and when you release the switch we have now no LEDs when you release the switch we have now the schematic diagram for the LED switch using our 4069 two buttons one LED Okay, thank you for watching, bye.